blooming day! Welcome back to my channel. You are in the right place because my mission is to provide basic and easy to understand financial and investment concepts so I can help millennials and Gen Z like you in your financial journey. In today's video, I'll go through 5 easy steps on how to invest in the stock market via Call Financial. So if you want to learn more about that, I want you to hang on and keep on watching. There are a lot of online brokers in the Philippines you can choose from, so you could check the full list of the online brokers that are recognized by the Philippine Stock Exchange in the link at the description box below. So you may want to make sure na yung online broker na pinili nyo is authorized by the BSES trading participant. I mentioned some of this in this video along with the answers to the 5 basic questions about the stock market that you need to know as a beginner. So you may want to check this video out. Long before online brokers started, investing in the stock market is done through traditional brokers. So investors would call their brokers and bidding usually starts via phone call. That was before. But thanks to technology, investing has been so easy with just a click of your mouse or a tap on your phone, you could already start investing in the stock market via online brokers. So in today's video, I'm gonna highlight one online broker that I've been using since 2013, and that is Call Financial. Opening a Call Financial is simply like opening a bank account. Call Financial has been so adaptable in these changing times, and application has been more convenient, lalo na you could apply and fund your account even at the comfort of your hopes. With that said, let's dive into step number one, which is to register online at callfinancial.com. So I'm gonna share to you my screen. So we're accessing Call Financial's website. We click on open an account and you have two options on how to register. But for now, let's focus on the easier way which is to sign up online. Note that you will be needing the following requirements. One valid government-issued ID, a blank paper with your three specimen signature, a Philippine bank account detail, your SSS GSIS number or CRN for those with UMID, your TIN and birth certificate for those below 18 years old. Then click on Get Started. You'll be directed to the Online Securities Trading Agreement. So read through this and click on Agree if you agree on this one. Then you need to input your identification details and then click on some reCAPTCHA and then you'll be receiving an email verification and then on that email you need to click on the link and then you'll be redirected to a new window to fill up your details so you could select which account type you want either individual joint or itf but for now let's click on individual so you need to put your personal information professional information additional information and FATCA disclosures, your financial and investment profile, your client suitability assessment. This is to know what level of risk you can take, either be conservative, moderate, or aggressive. And then input also your withdrawal information. I think you can input any of your Philippine bank account in here. Then you need to take a photo of your ID with three specimen signature in the blank paper you previously signed. If the signature is in the back part of your ID, you need to take a photo of that as well. Then take a selfie while holding your ID. So see, everything's done online, diba? So then click on submit, and then congratulations, you've accomplished your call account opening form. Then you'll receive an email to acknowledge your application. The second step is to fund your call financial account. Before you can fund your account, you need to receive an email like this one first. So once you receive this email, your account is pre-approved and is ready for funding. So you can fund your account in four ways. First is through online bills payment. Second is through over-the-counter bills payment sa mga banks. Third is through call business centers. And fourth is through overseas remittance for our OFWs. My personal recommendation is the online bills payment platform for banks such as BDO, BPI, Metro Bank, AUB, China Bank, Robinsons Bank, and Union Bank. Just enroll Call Financial as one of your billers in your respective online accounts of your preferred bank. So yung subscriber name nyo is your full name and your subscriber number is your call account number na nareceive nyo sa email nyo. But you have to remove the dash. For those with no online banking, the second best option is to do over-the-counter bills payment through these banks. Step number three, confirm your account via video conference call. Remember na yung account nyo is still pre-approved. So you have to set a video conference call with Call Financial so that they could verify you as the account owner. So please expect an email like this one. 
to schedule your video call with them. Remember that it's important for you to accomplish this step because you may start buying stocks but you cannot withdraw with them if you haven't done this step. It takes around 3 days to 1 week before you could set an appointment with them. So make sure that you do this right away after you receive your email. The fourth step is to log into your account. Once you're done with your funding, Call Financial will send you your temporary password in your email like this one. Once you receive this email, you can log in at callfinancial.com with your username, which is yung 8 digit na sinend sa inyo on the previous email, plus this temporary password. Make sure that you first change your password since this is a system generated one. As mentioned in the first step, you could already start accessing your account and even start buying stocks even if hindi ka pa tapos with your video conference call. Kasi remember, it takes 3 days to 1 week to set an appointment with them. So that's okay. But again, hindi ka lang makaka-withdraw ng funds if you want to. Unless you're done with step number 3. The fifth step is for you to start investing or buying stocks. You could either go for short-term trading or long-term investing. But I would not focus on short-term trading in this video. Because as a beginner, I don't recommend diving into short-term trading because this involves a lot of fundamental and technical analysis that you need to learn over time. But if you think you are equipped enough to do this, you have all the liberty to do so. So make sure to subscribe on my channel to watch out for my video about the difference between fundamental analysis and technical analysis. But now I want to focus on long-term investing or doing Call Financial's Easy Investment Program or EIP. What is EIP? EIP is a simple and easy way of investing in the stock market in the long run through the time-tested strategy of peso cost averaging. So basically, magi invest kayo sa isang blue chip companies or yung established na na company sa kanika nilang industry. Then you're going to invest a fixed amount of money for a fixed interval for X number of years. So let me explain further and share to you my screen and show you how to schedule an EIP. Let's go! So this is called Financials Platform. Let's click on Trade and then EIP Scheduler so we can set up a schedule for our new EIP. So let's select a blue chip company na I enroll natin for Easy Investment Program. What I love about Call Financial is that they have suggested companies you can do peso cost averaging with. So these are the examples of blue chip companies as suggested by Call Financial. Let's select for example BDO. Then we set a fixed amount of 4,000 pesos. On a fixed interval, so you could choose either weekly, monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual. Let's click on monthly. Then we click on the start date. Let's say example June 24. Then select the duration. So it could either be 6 months, 1 year, 2 years, 3 years. It depends on you. So let's first click 2 years. So for the order mode, you could choose whether automatic or manual. But let's click manual so that you can track it every month. Click on submit. So you'll be investing for a fixed amount of 4,000 pesos for a fixed interval which is monthly starting June 23 and will last for two years so why do this the stock market prices goes up and down every day right so since you are investing periodically you get an average price every time you buy per month this is how we set up the time-tested strategy of peso cost averaging I don't want to overload you guys with a lot of numbers today. That's why I want you to hit the subscribe button as I share on my next video the exciting and in-depth concept of peso cost averaging. Simple as that, you are now set to invest in the stock market. If you have additional questions on how to open a call financial account, feel free to comment down below and I will answer your questions. I hope you can finally jumpstart your stock market investing through these 5 easy steps. Again, this is Daisy reminding you to bloom where you are planted. See you on the next video. Bye guys!